Greetings, massive. Welcome to the Essential Extracts Lab. I'm Nick T. Essential Extracts has been around since 2009. We're the first legal extraction company in the U.S. since Prohibition. We focus on solventless extracts. That's why I'd love to introduce this pure pressure rosin press to you guys today. We're going to show you guys how this works in the Essential Lab, how we're pressing our rosin, utilizing the dual pressure mod that we've added to the system. Respect. Hi, this is Sam uh, at Essential Extracts. Um, I'm the lead processor over here. Here we're packing up some of the raw product into the pure pressure bags. We're using the 36 micron bags for the hash. We have some full spectrum water hash uh, we'll be packing into these bags. We pack about 40 grams at a time into them. So I just used something to prop this open right now. We're using a business card. We just take the hash and pack it in. And then once, they're, once it is full to the top, we'll use the pure pressure air pre-press. We also double bag our bags and I will add one seam on one side and another seam on the other side, just in case of any chance of blowout. So I'm about to pack this in, or put this into the press. Um, I'll take the bottom flap and put it facing down. I'll use the heat from the press to kind of keep that in place. Try and center on the plates. Sometimes with a super oily hash, you can't always engage all the pressure at once. So you kind of have to um, almost stamp it down with the top. I'll show you how here. After I start to see a good bead of oil on there, I'll come over to the toggle switch and give it a little press. Just to... So the pressure goes from when we were pressing first, it was 10, went up to 20. And then I'll just slowly adjust the pressure going up um, as I see the oil coming out as needed. When there gets to be too much oil, um, I'll start to take, I'll take this piece and so then I'll create a little pool for all the oil to collect. I'll also, I'll be watching from the sides uh, just to watch how the oil is coming out to make sure no blowouts and keep adjusting the pressure up as I'm going. As you can see, it's got a nice little Cool. Once I get the pressure to up to around 100, I'll leave it at that point and then start to watch for any oil to start, like stop coming, and then I'll release the pressure. One more thing to make it easy to see if uh, new oil is coming, I'll go like this, make a crease, and then you can start to see if any new oil is coming instead of all the old oil building up. So there's not much oil coming out, so I'll then come and release the pressure. And you have it pressed. 